Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm out here with old G-Dog over there. We're watching some catfish poles. We're walleye fishing. We're wiper fishing. We're getting after anything that'll bite tonight. So stay tuned. Enjoy some night fishing with us. Probably going to be a short video because this place is sucking right now. Late June, almost to early July. It is hot, 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 and the water is extremely low. So we're just going to fish, have some fun, hopefully catch some fish, stay away from some carp, but we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Oh, huge walleye, huge walleye, get under him. Oh, no. Dude, that was like a four pounder, man. Shit. A lipless. That was a nice walleye. At least they're biting. I've never seen something dump that much in drag in my life way out there. Gotta be a carp because he's on top already. Please stay on. It's definitely a carp, but there's always a chance it's a spoonbill or something too, so. Where's that? Uh, straight in front of you, about, you see uh, it splashing? All right, let's start going down. It's gotta be a carp, I would think, right? He's right there. Yeah. Net him anyways. Damn, big old carp. Let me guess, he popped off right there. Holy shit, dude, look how full he is of eggs. That look big? Big boy. Check out that hawk. That is a huge Asian carp. Look at the belly on that thing. Extremely full of eggs, not good for the river. We're gonna dispatch this guy and hopefully he don't produce no more. The first one of the night is this gross carp, other than that giant walleye we lost. But one down, a million to go. All right, one giant carp down. Hopefully we can catch some more nice fish. Let's go. Yep. Another monster, thousand percent a carp. I'm gonna try to land him over here, but we'll see. At least I think it's a carp. I'll grab the net just in case. Actually, it might not be because he's going upstream. I think it's a carp, but. Okay, the fact he's going upstream makes me wonder. I just want to see him. Just want to see him. He's all the way at the wall, Garrett, coming in front of you. Okay, he's to the left now, left, right in front of me. About 10 feet out, going back upstream. See him splashing? Come to the right now. He's right here. Was oh, a big carp. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you got him. Damn. You're better than I would have been. Another monster. So, where I'm fishing? right off that wall dude they're in there thick they must be coming upstream right now they're on the old bluegill rattle trap color mostly because i was tired of losing my good ones you guys don't understand how big this sucker is he's got to be 10 to 12 pounds monster garrett's got my other one over there fun to fight but when they're going upstream it can make it tough where are we going to start a collection at right up here so unfortunately you can't throw these things back in the river. So what we usually do is we just throw them up on shore, let them die, pull gills. And then once they're a thousand percent dead, we just put them back in the river and they go down and feed turtles or whatever else. So it is what it is, circle life, but it is illegal to put these back in the water. Not just frowned upon, but like literally illegal. Another carp down. So that dude is looking for something. I think that is a guy. He's looking for something. 
There's a guy like scuba diving in the water up there, which is extremely illegal and extremely dangerous mostly, but. Another carp down. Oh, g dog has got a little kitty. I grabbed the net for you, but I guess we don't need him. Dude, you know how much bait was on this dang thing? Yeah, that little guy got him. Let's keep him. We can get two little micro fillets off of that thing. Oh shit, about fell. Congrats, man, you got one. Where the fuck's all the big ones? We've been grinding for like an hour. That one was caught on what, Asian carp guts? You're welcome, because I provided the bait. That is disgusting. Well, got a catfish. That's about it, though. If I land this thing, it's gonna be a friggin' miracle. He's way out there still, dude. I'm hoping he stays on, but I'm trying to get you some more catfish bait. I switched over to a swim bait, hoping this wouldn't happen. See him splashing about 20 yards straight in front of you. 10 yards in front of you. It's an otter. Alive? They gone. Oh. Yep. Was it a carp? Yeah. Damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. It's my only nice swim bait head. Dang. Another nice carp gone. Bigger than the other, about the same. Small. Small. They pulled like a bowl. Spice has got man. Spice has got the old kitty. Maybe. I bet it's a drum. Come on, be a drum just so I can make fun of you. Wiper. Nice wiper, dude. Did not expect that. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Nice wiper. You don't see that real often. I have to get a picture of you with that one. That's a good fish. Pick it up. You got old spice. Awesome wiper. Probably about a four pounder. Not bad. Always feels good to release them. Let them go, let them grow. Beautiful fish. Make sure he's upright. There he goes. He kicked. Oh, yeah. He's gone. He's just chilling out right there. That's good. Cool. Nice fish, man. All right, old Spice Daddy got him a real nice wiper. Lost an awesome walleye tonight. Got a catfish, got a wiper, a uh, couple Asian carp. It's going all right. We've been here a long, long time, so we, we definitely deserve some of those fish, but. We give it a little bit longer, see if we can catch something else. Got a little more guts to go. I'm throwing artificial, he's throwing live bait, guts, whatever, but it's working. So let's get back in there and rip some lips. Hey, we got a lure. That don't happen too often. That's a little strange. That's a nice Ozark Trail lipless crankbait. Garrett just snagged this, and this had a buffalo on the end of it. Who knows how long this poor guy's been hooked for. Seems to... Huh? There's a little G-Dog hooked. Poor little guy. A tough life. Little white crankbait, that's what Garrett pulled up with. Ain't a bad lure. Hooks need a little straighten, but it ain't bad.
The old buffalo, huh? Is it a buffalo? Yep, the old buffalo cart. Well, that's an Asian cart, you moron. No, it's a buffalo. He's got scales, dingbat. Well, it's a cross. Oh, I see it. This is a buffalo. He's got the blue. He's. He fucking ate it. The, yeah, I think these things do eat it. Pretty sure these things eat meat. Get the piss out of my hood. Nice buffalo. Ain't too bad. Not exactly what we we're after, but another one. All right, that's gonna do it for our river fishing adventure today. It's fun time. Caught a couple fish. Lost a really, really awesome walleye. But uh, bugs. Garrett made up for it with that awesome wiper tonight. Uh, it's hoping for a little bit better outcome. We've been here for like four or five hours, and it's it's kind of slow, but we did catch some fish. A couple of nice buffaloes and some big Asian carp. It's always fun to get rid of them things in the river. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little night fishing adventure. I know the audio is probably terrible. The lighting's terrible and the clips are probably all over the place, but um, it is what it is. It's hard to film at night. So hope you guys enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next river fishing adventure. Peace.